Hey lovelies, it's Ebony and I'm back with another video for you. As you can see, I've already started this wash and go. I'm just showing you guys how the first half of my hair looks. This will be the second time I've used the Curls Blueberry Bliss line in years, so I wanted to see if it still holds up. I'm gonna start off by putting some Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil, Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner into the side of my hair that I haven't started, just because um, I really like this leave-in conditioner. It's nice and creamy and it helps to get my curls nice and clumped and uh, ready for product. Now back to the Curls Blueberry Bliss line. I used it, I wanna say about three years ago, and when I was using it back then, my hair absolutely loved it. I used it till it was gone. I even recorded a video where I was like super hyped for it. You could not tell me this wasn't one of the best hair products on the market right now, so I'm just curious to see if it still lives up to its name. Now just like I did before, I'm going to start out by using the Blueberry Bliss Twist and Shout Cream. I like using the cream as my base for all my wash and goes, even though the gel does not require it, I just go ahead and add it myself. So I just take whatever feels right for each section of my hair. Um, I'm back on, you know, the regularly scheduled, <laughs> regularly scheduled program of shingling my hair and dividing it into 100 sections. But you know, it's all good. I'm willing to do this to try to get the results that I got years ago. Now it's time for the star of the show, the Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly. I loved it, 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 did <laughs> this gel way back then. It smells delicious. It smells just like a cocktail, like a mixed drink. And um, you don't even really need a lot. Like what I showed you just a second ago on my hand is all you need for each section each you know small section because the gel is is pretty thick even though it doesn't have a thick consistency it really coats your hair in a way that makes you think oh wow I really don't need to use a lot of this you can easily use too much so for me that's always a plus because you know I have a lot of hair and I really don't like when I have a product that I can easily run through you know so any product that I have that I can stretch is always a plus in my book Now for diffusing, I decided to use a new blow dryer. It's a golden hot tourmaline ion, ya ya ya, you know, the, the usual with these blow dryers these days. I actually got this blow dryer a long time ago from a representative from Golden Hot and I actually forgot that I had it. Now the reason I decided to use this blow dryer instead of my usual Conair blow dryer today is because it has a actual cool setting. It has a hot, warm, and a cool setting with, you know, a high and low for speed. 
and then of course it has like the actual cool shot button the conair blow dryer that i have just has the cool shot button and i really don't like to hold that the entire time and with all that being said this blow dryer still turned out to be a waste of my time as soon as i got this thing out of the box i didn't have a whole lot of faith in it because it's very lightweight and not in a good way like in a cheap way i don't know why they use this lightweight plastic uh, i'll never understand why companies do that but on top of that, the speed of the air coming through the blow dryer was just so low. I felt like it was going to take me so long to dry my hair. And this was not a good thing for me today because I wanted to try to just diffuse my hair on a cool setting the entire time. I know a lot of you guys said from my previous videos, like I should try air drying my hair or sitting in front of a fan. Now, air drying my hair just does not work for me. It makes my hair super frizzy and it's almost like just a waste of a day well it actually is a waste of a day so i decided to sit in front of a fan while i did my makeup and then i was going to come back and dry my hair with the cool setting on this blow dryer but i ended up having to use my conair blow dryer still so yeah this blow dryer was definitely a no-go now that my hair is dry you can see that there was a little bit of frizz i know it looks like i'm pretty disappointed but i promise i'm okay <laughs> i think it might have been the air drying that made things worse so next time i'm just going to go ahead and fully diffuse like i normally do and see how things turn out in the meantime go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it share this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and as always thanks for watching